Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really sad. Today, my fall decor is going bye-bye. Like, this was probably for me. Everybody has their own taste and they decorate how they like, but this was my best fall decor yet. Like, I loved it so much. And I'm actually so sad to see it go, but that's okay. I'll see it next year. I'll see it next year. So um, yes, I am going to be taking down all of my fall decor. So get ready, buckle up, grab a coffee, grab some tea, whatever's gonna give you energy. I just ate lunch and let's get cleaning and undecorating. So guys, I am going to switch over to the voiceover, but we are going to start in my front room. There is no rhyme or reason to my method. I am just going in and starting with this area. In this bag, in my totes, I have a bunch of like bags that I've saved from Target or Dollar Tree or whatnot. And I'm just going and putting the pumpkins in there. And then I will use another bag and put all of my greenery and then I stick these bags into the plastic totes that go in the garage. So no special system, this is just what I do when I am cleaning up all of this stuff. So I'm just going through every single area, grabbing all of the fall and just putting it away. And then leaving my decor that's left out is like neutral decor that I leave out most times. So I'm just gonna leave that out and I will probably use most of that in the styling in my Christmas decor. And then our pumpkins turned out so cute, but it is time for them to go. So I am going through and I will be throwing those out into our uh, trash cans. And now we have made our way over to the kitchen and I'm just going to repeat the same thing. I am placing all of this decor onto the island there, but I'm just going through and pulling out all of the fall and just leaving our neutral decor. When I was watching this video back, oh my goodness, I forgot the fall decor in the corner. So I got that after this video, but yeah, forgot a whole section of fall decor. Um, now I made my way over to Brookie's little area and I am just going through and taking down everything in this area. And like I said, I take things and I store them in bags and then I put them in totes. And um, I live in California. Everything is stored in my garage in these big, thick plastic um, tote containers. So um, all, everything lasts pretty well. I do try to make sure I take out the batteries out of anything that has batteries in it. But besides that, um, everything holds pretty well in my garage. And this is funny, but I wish I could speed clean. <laughs> I'm taking everything down. I wish I could work in like turbo speed. Decorating, no, I love it. I love taking my time doing all that stuff but putting everything away I wish I could do it in like super duper fast time um let me know down in the comments below did you guys already take down your fall decor or do you wait till after Thanksgiving of my little totes. I get them from Home Depot. We usually try to get them when they're on sale, but they are heavy duty. And we write the name on the front, whatever kind of decor it is with a little um, marker. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys that I have about four of these and that stores all of my four fall decor. I have even more of these for Christmas, but they are pretty full and pretty packed. Okay. 
Okay guys, we have taken everything down and now I just need to do the big old wipe down and we are done undecorating for fall and Halloween. I'm really sad. Oh my gosh, my stuff was so cute, but I'm so excited to show you guys what I have in store for Christmas time. <laughs> So now, guys, we are at the cleaning portion, and I'm just using all-purpose Mrs. Meyer's spray and that acorn scent, and I'm just giving everything a really good wipe down. Pretty much just cleaning up dust or anything that has fallen off of any of the decor that I was taking down. So any of my greenery that shed, any of the flowers that shed, any of that, I'm just wiping everything down and just getting everything prepped and ready for Christmas decorating the in a week. So for me, I am going to live with this space for a whole week, just being a little bit more bare than I am used to. Um, you kind of like it. It just gives you a nice refresh and start. So by the time I put up my Christmas decor, it will just be that much more special. I was just showing you guys, or I'm gonna show you in just a second. I have been wanting the name books, and my sister-in-law made these for me, and it came out so cute, and I love them. Um, my children, everybody puts their hands all over the TV and it just gets so dirty and I probably don't clean it as much as I should. Actually, after I clean this in five minutes, it's going to have fingerprints on it again. But to clean my TV, I do it really easy. I just use water and a microfiber cloth. I just make sure it's a clean one and it usually will get off all of the spots. Okay, bye-bye bat wall so the bat wall is coming down I loved it it was super duper cute but now it is time to take it down these bats I handmade um, if you I can link that video down below but I'm actually going to save them I made them out of cardstock and I used painters tape and they stayed up perfectly the blue kind painters tape the blue kind but they stayed up fantastically so I'm just taking those down and then I am done. about a week and then next weekend it is on for Christmas decorations and I am so excited.